Your homework. You can you can uh, tell tell yes. us your homework. Okay. Hi. Okay. You Am have I? written that. Okay. So read it out for us. Uh, I I think sati. Uh, the meaning is to recall or to remember what are you doing now. And Sampachanya uh, is clear comprehension from start to, to finish in, in uh, the, the activity. For example, when, when I open the door, Sati is to recall that I am opening the door. Sampachanya is the status that I know about my body movement from start to finish opening the door. Sati and Samachanya can happen many times during this activity. Uh, if my Sati and Samachanya happen complete, completely from start to finish the activity, wisdom is created to me. Uh, I will tell you about one of my experience during I unlock the key of front door of my clinic. That moment, my sati and samachanya were complete. So the wisdom happened to me that I got a bad feeling and felt very tired and am dying. It occurred to me about half a minute and disappeared completely. Later, I felt normally. At that week, I got this experience of dying about three times. One on opening the door, one on eating breakfast, and one on take a bath. Okay, I finished my homework. <laughs> now you can <laughs> now you can explain without without watching your notes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think uh, sati, sati is, uh, is the recall of uh, what, what am I doing? And Sambachanya is to know, to know about uh, my, my, my body movement during uh, the activity from, from, uh, uh, from start to finish the activity. Is it right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is um, being aware, knowing, um, uh, what happens in the present moment and also remembering what's in the past and anticipating a little bit into the future. So just like a wide area, uh, no being aware of a wide area, like if you are watching your breath, uh, the, this breath and a uh, little bit of the past breath and um, knowing that is another one but i don't know if i can actually experience that um i just know in breathing uh, and sampajanya is like um you can see the uh upada titi banga um the beginning um the life and then the end of uh something anything any object uh, thought or, or um, your awareness of the breath or something like that and also seeing the cause and effect uh, relationship that each thought moment has 
with the next. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I I hear Titi Pangka. Yes, it. Titi. Oppa Titi Pangka. Yeah. Yeah, man. Titi. Tang you. Tang you. Tang you. You can ask questions. Both of you can ask questions each other on a meditation. There's mindfulness and the sampajanya. <laughs> so, can I ask a question from both of you about sampajanya? See, when there are times when um, I don't see the distinction between um, this or that, when there is just this, does that mean it's sampajanya? Because I'm in the so much in the present moment that I don't. Like uh, not seeing what happened before, not thinking or not seeing it, and not anticipating the future. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of when the breath kind of disappears, or uh, just just being there. You're mindful of that, uh, as I said. You, know, you have to uh, have the understanding that this is impermanent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so consciously aware of that. Right. Is some oh, okay. But if you're just aware, just watching it, this object, your mind is object while watching it. Samadhi. Sati. Oh, okay. Yeah? Sati and Samadhi. Oh. Sati and Samadhi. So when uh, those times that when I'm aware that this mm. is going to end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And also one thing have to remember that uh, um, Sati and Sampajanya is not a vipassana and is not the samatha alone. Okay? In the absorption of attainment of the jhanas, mm -hmm. you do have to have Sati and Sampajanya some degree, okay? some degree as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to have that Sati and Sampajanya in the jhanas as well. Even the first jhana, uh, uh, the first jhana arises through the uh, seclusion. And the seclusion, we have to know that we are mindful of that seclusion yeah, and have still have. What, what is seclusion? Seclusion, viveka. Viveka. Vive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Seclusion. Yeah. Mm. How to spell seclusion? It's the spell. S E C L U S I O N. Okay. So born of seclusion, uh, that moment, again, we have to have the uh, sati and sampajanya in a, in, a, uh, in a degree, like a lower degree as well. Mm. Without that, uh, first jhana also cannot attain. Mm. Uh, and because of the born of a seclusion, first thing we ex experience in that, that we become a mindful of piti and pasadi and opeka as a, in a, in a, a very blurred way. Right? Uh, and then big, uh, along with that, there is still uh, the vitaka and vichara, thought and uh, examination are still there too, as a main domain, uh, dominant there. But the ma main thing in the first jhana is that uh, the first jhana born out of a uh, born of the seclusion that we are mindful and having an understanding of it that produces uh, the piti, joy, uh, bliss, mm -hmm. and uh, happiness, uh, the, uh, and then uh, the happiness, and then uh, the calmness of the mind, and then there is a sense of. Uh, Economy as well. Okay. So is a, this joy you feel when you see something changing? That time is not the joy, uh, changing joy yet. Uh -huh. That's the establishment. Uh, okay. Uh, mind is establishment uh, on the object uh -huh. brings the joy, uh -huh. and that joy is conditioned joy uh -huh. because the mind is conditioned with the object, mm. uh, and gradually that's why the second jhana is. You, you know that this uh, the conditioned joy is 
not the real one. Mm. It can go back to the glaciers at any time, oh, okay. attachment to it any time, craving to at any time. Mm -hmm. So you have to come out from that, right? So the second, third jhana is you come out from this or overcoming this piti, right. um, attaining the pasati, uh, the calmness of the mind. Okay. And this calmness of the mind, again, also conditioned. Uh -huh. uh, so it goes on like that. But during this fourth jhana attainment, you still have the some degree of mindfulness and uh, clear comprehension or awareness or alertness there. Is it when you lose the mindfulness that people get um, attached and addicted to jhanas? Yeah, so that is the how it mm. attached to. <laughs> so jhana jhana is chan 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 Buddhism chan jhana in English it's called absorption jhana. Yeah. Okay. So that's why sati and sati. yeah, that's why sati and four four levels. Jhana is four levels. Jhana four, four levels. Yeah. Oh. Chan. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, when upachara samadhi is reached, can you develop that into apana samadhi? Well, definitely yes. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the you can think of a two similes. Uh -huh. okay. One as I gave you yesterday as Upachara. And the second, yeah. yeah. And the, because you know that, that this bar is there uh -huh. and you can grab it anytime. Uh -huh. yeah, so that's the one. And the second is, suppose you're traveling far away and then you reach suburb of the, country, the, the city. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know that this you have arrived at the suburb. You know so how it, to take your destination road. is definite there. You know that the okay. object is definitely you have fully understood. Mm. You can go at any time. You can you know, you know within a few moments or you know whenever you like. Mm -hmm. You can go into the country, the, the city, any time. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah? Okay. And then now the. To understand apana, you are in the city. Mm. So object is a city. In the object, you are in the object. Okay. You are in the some in, in the uh, city now. Okay. So that's apana. And the one thing you have to remember, upachara samadhi and apana samadhi doesn't exist in Tipitaka. It exists in the Visuddhi Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Upana Samadhi. Oh. Uh, upachara Samadhi and uh, excess concentration. Excess. Mm. Uh, upana Samadhi, mm. attainment concentration. You have attained. Mm. And in order to get the first jhana, it suggests, it says that you have to have the Upana Samadhi. Mm. And then you can get the uh, jhanas experience. And this is again purely uh, one who wish to attain the jhanas. Eh? And in a practice of a, uh, enlightenment or to, to be enlightenment, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to attain the jhanas. Uh, you can have uh, this momentary concentration and from the momentary concentration, a light uh, samadhi and then go into the deeper samadhi and attainment of the right understanding of things as they truly are, as known as the vipassana. Mm. Okay, and that's how you can go into as well. Mm. So, in this context, does right concentration mean like kanika samadhi or this light samadhi? Kanika samadhi, yeah, momentary concentration. Oh. Kanika samadhi, awareness of a kanika samadhi is vipassana itself. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's why we have to have the Sampajanya to know that Kanika Samadhi, yeah. that this is also changing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't have experience of Apana Samadhi. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay. So, 
this uh, sati and sampajanya is very important factors uh, importantly this assists our life to be happy okay it assists our life to be happy oh, and ability to, uh, ability to be mindful of our actions and what we do while we are doing and this also wholesome mind okay it's called a kusala chitta that's uh, okay kusala chitta uh, so sati is always in in a buddhism sati always comes with the kusala chitta wholesome mind mm -hmm. yeah? and that is also important to know mm -hmm. so this sort of apana samadhi must have existed before the buddha's time this yeah. is buddha found out how not to be addicted to it because it's impermanent yeah that's why uh, uh, before before the buddha it's not just uh, up to apana samadhi mm -hmm. uh, this is the first jhana oh okay there are more than that already uh, so eight jhanas eight jhanas uh, there's a form jhanas the four four jhanas mm -hmm. are form and another four jhanas are formless jhanas mm -hmm. So uh, the Buddha's revolution was sati, sati, whereas samadhi is just already there. Yeah, so, yeah. so what's important for us Buddhists is sati, sati, yeah. not the samadhi, okay. sati, and sati and sampajanya or sati panya. Uh, short form is called sati panya. Sati panya. Yeah. So we don't need to develop all these. Jhanas and not necessary, uh -huh. not necessary, um, to, to, yeah, not necessary <laughs> to attain the jhanas. Mm. Uh, we and cannot hear you. Hello. We cannot hear you. Monit, we cannot hear you. <clears throat> Are there any suttas that? I mean, there are some suttas that people say is about jhanas, like Kanaka Muggallana and another thing about taming an elephant or something. There are suttas says and talks about the jhanas. Uh -huh. uh, there are. But not apana. Not like upachara, apana, no. no. But talks about the jhanas. Mm. Up to eight jhanas. Mm. Uh, what what were you saying? Give my talk. Ah. Let me call. Has problem. Yeah. Uh, it's now it's okay. Power cuts as well. Okay, Monit. Now you, it's your turn. You can <laughs> ask or you can explain to us about Sati and Sampajanya. Don't know to ask. No question. <laughs> Talk, discussion. <laughs> Have you experienced? Uh, what is your experience of Kanika or Upachara Samadhi? Oh, I I uh, had experience about Kanika Samadhi mm -hmm. and some of Upachara Samadhi too. But Apana Samadhi, I don't have experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, the judge says it's not necessary. <laughs> uh, I I will recall that. Ah. Kanika uh, Samadhi is uh, very important uh, for the development of Sati and Sampajanya. Yeah. Uh, yes. But having said, Kanika uh, Samadhi is uh, yeah, but having very said, yeah, but having said that, that doesn't mean that uh, one who develops a samadhi uh, 
will not have the sati and sampajanya. They do also have a sati and sampajanya as well. That is what we have to understand. Mm. Sometimes mm. people have misconception and misunderstanding that sati and sampajanya purely is vipassana mm -hmm. only. Right? But it is not just a vipassana only. Uh, this is we can find in the uh, attainment of the absorption, the jhanas as well. Yeah. So like in Anguttara Nikaya, there is a, a book of four. It explains about the jhanas. <clears throat> in that jhanas, uh, it explains that there is um, sati and sampachanya accompanied as well. Okay. But the meantime, the most important is the sati and sampajanya is known as a bahu pakara, yeah, great assistance. Bahu upakara. Bahu means a lot. Bahu. Upakara oh. means uh, do good things. Yeah, do good things for us. Okay. Yeah, that's why this okay. is a very important. Uh, yeah, uh, the dhammas. That doesn't matter whether monks or whether lay people, one who has got these two dhammas in their minds, then always will be in a safe place, always will be uh, happy, and they will not commit any unwholesome activities or actions that may come back the results to them, which is unhappiness. Mm. Yeah, and the sati and sampajanya always helps us to live our life happily. It's like a, a, now if you have an assistant, you know, this assistant, he or she will be with you only maybe eight hours a day. Uh, and then you have to pay for it. Uh, and within this eight hour, again, they will not be following you at all the time. They will mm. not be standing by you at all the time. Mm. And if something happens, if something uh, needed to be done, then this assistant will tell you, remind you, my boss, this is need to be done. This is important letter. This is, there is a meetings. Uh, there is a, this, this man, this lady coming to meet you like that. So it remind you at all the time. <laughs> But this is eight or nine hours, again, she or he will not be by you at all the time. Okay, rest of other, uh, how many hours? Uh, 14 hours, you have to stay alone without any assistant. Uh, with that 14 hours, if you are not mindful of your actions, then there is a... Um, probability or high probability <laughs> that you will do yeah. something uh, <laughs> bad, <laughs> something you shouldn't be doing, uh, something you shouldn't be thinking, uh, something you shouldn't be saying, <laughs> uh, you will mm. be saying it. Otherwise, if you have an assistant by you and you're saying something wrong, then your assistant will remind you, my boss, uh, what you are saying is not right. This should be in this way. Uh, but when you have no assistant, you will do everything. So uh, mindfulness uh, and uh, comprehension, clear comprehension is a great assistant, reminds us our actions that we are doing. They're saying, oh, am I doing the right thing? Oh, am I saying the right thing? Oh, am I thinking rubbish like that? Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. always with us. A good thing is you don't have to pay for it. Yeah? It's free. Mm -hmm. All what you need is the consciousness to know that I have got this. Mm -hmm. yeah? And being mindful. That's why it is known as a great assistant. It will help us to be mindful living. Happy living. Reminding us that what you are doing is good or bad. Reminding us to do good thing. And always remember that doesn't matter what is out there, what you are doing, what is going on, 
it's subject to change. It is going to change. So do not grasp or do not have any attachment to it. Mm. The very moment when you have an attachment, then you have lost your sati. You become a negligence. It's called a pamada. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So it's become a pamada. So sati is a pamada, being a pamada, yeah? non negligence. Mm. And very moment when you become uh, unmindful, then you become pamada. So you will act, you will say, you will do, you will think, uh, regardless of what it is, regardless of thinking of the consequences of it. So that's why Buddha's teachings, uh, before Buddha uh, stopped talking, the last verses of the Buddha is, Appamadena Sampadetha. Be mm. heedless yeah? or be mindful what you do. And that was the last message of the Buddha. So that's why this mindfulness and sampajanya assists us to be happy, assists us to know what we are doing correctly. Okay? Okay, okay. Mm. So, Okay, then uh, today we will finish a little early and we'll see tomorrow. Okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, if you Long one day gone. Wait for Tan Jeep and Tan Tua. Okay, yeah. They are busy today. Uh, Tua is helping Achan Vishian to set up uh, his talk, and uh, Jeep is on his way to another campus. So that's why this us to, to, to have competition. Yeah, essay competition, a public speaking competition. Mm -hmm. A bit. All right, then <laughs> uh, we'll end here today. Uh, thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow again, probably uh, we'll uh, stay for discussion, or maybe we'll move on to new topics. Okay. Okay, then okay. we'll see you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.